Referencing is an important part of what we do at university. We reference to demonstrate our ability to research and provide authority for what we want to say in our work, because others, usually experts in the field, are saying it too. In this video, we are going to look at in-text referencing. We will show you how and where to reference in each paragraph of an essay. This is called in-text referencing. Remember that all academic writing must contain references from sources that provide expert information to support your argument. The only time you may not need to use other sources is if you are being asked to write a personal piece of writing or you have clear instructions that they are not required. If in doubt, ask your unit coordinator. Firstly, let's take a look at some common mistakes students make with their in-text referencing when they start to write academic essays. A common mistake students make is to forget to reference at all in the text of the work and only provide a full list of references at the end in their reference list. You can see here in our paragraph that there are no in-text references. The problem is that the reader has no idea where the evidence to support the ideas is coming from, even though it clearly comes from sources other than the writer of this paragraph. The second most common mistake is that students reference only once right at the end of the paragraph. Again, it is impossible for the reader to know where the information comes from. The in-text reference at the end actually only belongs to the sentence it is a part of, which means that the final sentence only comes from the source Carter in 2020. This leaves the reader wondering, where does the evidence come from? What research has the author of the paragraph done? How can we verify the evidence and be sure that it is reputable? Now let's look at the same paragraph, but this time correctly referenced in text, and you will see where each reference belongs. Notice the first and last sentences of this paragraph. What you will see is that the first sentence, called the topic sentence, and the last sentence, called the concluding sentence, have no in-text references. In an essay paragraph structure, the topic sentence is broad and tells the reader what the overall paragraph will be about. Similarly, the concluding sentence is drawing broad conclusions from the evidence you have provided in the middle of the paragraph, and therefore, neither of these parts of your paragraph need an in-text reference. In-text referencing belongs in the middle of each paragraph. These are called the supporting sentences, where the argument is supported by providing examples and evidence from published authors who are experts in the field. In our paragraph here, we have four supporting sentences that provide evidence for the argument, which in this paragraph is that working and studying from home during the COVID-19 epidemic has been a challenge for many people. It is important to realise that each supporting sentence must have an in-text reference if it provides evidence or an example of the argument. The evidence in our first supporting sentence comes from the authors Smith and Brown, who published their work in 2020. Evidence in the second supporting sentence comes from the author Carter, who published her work in 2020. Our third sentence contains evidence from four separate authors who all published individual works on the same topic in 2020. We know that they publish separate works from the way that the date comes after each author. Finally, our fourth supporting sentence includes evidence from two separate authors who both published individual works on the same topic, one in 2021 and one in 2020. Remember, each in-text reference is providing evidence only for the supporting sentence you are using it in. This means that if you have four sentences which provide evidence in your work, then you must have four in-text references. What goes into an in-text reference will depend on the referencing style you are being asked to use. If you are not sure, get in contact with your unit coordinator to find out. In APA referencing, which we are using in this video, you need to provide the surname of the author, the date the information was published, and if quoting, or using very specific facts or figures, the page numbers where you found it. Lastly, whenever you use an in-text reference, 
This must then be included in your reference list at the end of your work. Unlike each in-text reference, which only includes the surname, date and page numbers if necessary, your reference list must provide full citation details for each source you have used. This allows the reader to find the same information you have. Remember, the Academic Skills Office has a wide range of fact sheets to help you with your referencing. So get out there and have a go.